Hey, it's Wolfie Chan, and I'm back with another manga review. And this one is Full Metal Alchemist, the second volume. And this one, I liked it. But um, if this if this shows off anything that the Nina Nina Tucker meme is big. And this is in the manga that they actually give a lot of different direction and the series of events that happens in Volume 2 don't exactly happen the same way in the manga. Which is really cool. You know, we get our cool scene with the train and finally meeting Roy Mustang and then they finally getting to the capital through the train with Roy. And at this point, like, you know, Ed and Al, well, Ed is a state alchemist. Yada yada kind of follows the lead of Roy and any of the missions from Roy. Well, there's a whole thing that he's trying to find the Philosopher's Stone, but they make a mention of an alchemist that is the Sewing Life alchemist, Mr. Tucker. Huh. So Ed and Al go meet with him, talk with him, look at the his huge library, talk about the talking chimera. And even though its first words were, I want to die, who, who'd think? Who'd know that when you make a chimera the way he did, yeah. And of course, you know, uh, Ed and Al bond with his daughter, Nina, and his, um, their dog, Alexander. And they're, you know, just basically, you know, bonding and being really cute and really awesome together when the meme happens. And weirdly enough, uh, Tucker and at this point, I'm not going to tell you what it is because if you don't know what the Nina, Nina Tucker meme is, definitely look it up on the internet because it's prevalent. Very prevalent. But you find out that Tucker and his experiment go basically into this this room that's going to be like a jail cell for them and out pops one of my more intriguing characters of this series which happens to be Scar and he is an Ishbalan and of course you know he's been killing a lot of people and of course he's like in the anime he, I don't think he kills Tucker. I can't remember, but I don't exactly remember. He might have. Um, and Nina just kind of runs off. And then what happens with Nina is that she finds Scar, and that's where the biggest scene that, like, I, it breaks my heart every time I see it because it's a stain. Who. And it's out in the open, which I would, that would make more sense, you know, for all of the people that were alchemists and state alchemists to kind of block off and make sure nobody sees it because it's right out in the open. That's when Edward Nell finds, goes, finds out about that. And then they find out that Scar is really close. In the manga, it happens all in this room and Nina is angry. Because she just saw her, well, the experiment, if that didn't give that away, sorry. But the experiment is mad because it killed um, Tucker right in front of them. And then Scar kills them. Which then, the alchemists are kind of outside the door and they're like, Ed, you do not want to see this. You already found out about the experiment. You don't want to do it. Of course, um... It doesn't really say that they do see it or not, but they find out that Scar is, like, outside or something. And so, they're trying to fight him. Al Alphonse gets a big hole in his metal body. And Ed starts fighting with him when the first time he Scar touches his metal hand, of course, he can't hurt her or anything. But then it, he goes in, they go in kind of for a second round, and that's when Ed's arm gets blue. Which is really messed up. Um, but also to the lead up 
to that event, you meet the alchemist that was kind of making the stone and making all that stuff, and he went on a train ride to it. And I can't remember if it's before or afterwards, because we actually find out um, Mr. Armstrong, who's a really awesome character, and I actually knew somebody in my life that cosplayed as him, and that was really kind of cool. And I could see the guy was really tall and a bit buff, but could pull off him really good, and that was just, it was awesome. But, uh, during the fight with Scar, you meet Armstrong, so I'm thinking it was after the fact. Yeah. Because, um, they have to take Al in basically a box because he can't walk anymore, and he's now considered luggage, so it's... And he's like, I've never been considered luggage before. Uh, it's an adorable part. Um, but then we also meet Hughes, which in the anime he's called uh, May Hughes. And in the manga he's called like Lou Hughes, I think. I can't exactly remember. Or it's like Maya Hughes or something. It's really weird. Um, because it's like a different name, but it's still Hughes. It's still the character that I bonded with, that, like, is amazing, and I wish whatever happened to him didn't happen. But we haven't gotten to that part in the manga, and I'm, I don't, I don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't even want to acknowledge that it exists yet. Uh, but they kind of meet with him, talk with him, and, of course, uh, I believe his name's Lance Armstrong, but I'm gonna go with Armstrong, just, just for that. Um, and Mr. Armstrong is accompanying Edward and Al back home, basically. When they find out that an alchemist that did make a Philosopher's Stone on one of their stops is there. So what happens is that Ed and Al kind of meet up with him, kind of, and he doesn't want to tell the story. After a while, they kind of hammered in that they kind of want to know. And he explains that it's a really big and complicated thing that's not great. Which then we find out that the homunculi Lust has been following them. Found out where this guy is. Basically threatened him. And so now he can't leave wherever or go into protection. Because if he does move, a lot of people die and that's not a good thing. And then the journey continues back to Ed and Al's hometown where his, um, I can't remember the name, Automail, there you go, took me a minute, takes me forever to realize, sometimes, <laughs> so, they go back to, um, they're going back home so that Al can get his arm back, and then see if they couldn't get more supplies from Ed's home to repair Alphonse, and that's kind of where Volume 2 was left off, I really liked it, but it is very, almost very noticeable the differences between the anime and the manga. And to tell you the truth, I am hardcore liking the differences because it's just, it's a little more prominent than from Full Metal Alchemist, the original anime, not Brotherhood, which I have heard that Brotherhood is very much this, like, driving home the similarities between the manga and anime, so. But for now, for somebody who's watched just Full Metal Alchemist, I see the differences big time, and that is more interesting. Whereas I'm reading, um, also Host Club, and just, there's not a lot of differences that still make me very intrigued in it, but I'm still going at it. Right. So, if you like this video, definitely leave a like, leave it in the comment section below. Have you read Full Metal Alchemist Volume 2, and... Do you have a favorite character? Um, I don't know if he's more my favorite, but I am very more interested in Scar. I was always more interested in, in the anime because there was a lot of threads that he had linked to him. And I just, I just wanted to know. I just wanted to know. And also, I wanted more details, I hope, as I keep reading about Ishbalans. And I know about the war and stuff like that, and they fought, but like... I just want a bit more details, just a bit. So, if you enjoy what you see, definitely subscribe, because I do upload every day from Sunday 
to Saturday, Monday to Sunday, whenever you need a video, I got you covered. And I have been uploading them um, 2 o'clock Eastern Time, um, 5 o'clock Western Time, and 4 o'clock Mountain Time. So they're always going to be out in a consistent amount of time. And if you want to follow me on Facebook or Twitter, I have the links down below. And I hope that you are having a very wonderful, wonderful day. Wolfie Chun out. Bye.